The information contained in this presentation is intended for general informational purposes only. The presentation is not a substitute for a review of the applicable government regulations, codes, OSHA standards, or other regulations, and should not be construed as legal advice or opinion. Specific questions should be referred to the proper regulatory authorities, electrical engineer, licensed electrician, or attorney. A short circuit is a low resistance path to ground. In other words, an electrical path in a circuit that causes most of the current to flow around or away from the intended path in the circuit. A common type of short circuit occurs when the positive and negative terminals of a battery are connected with a low resistance conductor like a wire. A ground fault circuit interrupter receptacle or GFCI, monitors the amount of current flowing from hot to neutral. If there is even a slight imbalance, it trips the circuit. It is able to sense a mismatch as small as 4 or 5 milliamps, and it can react as quickly as 1 13th of a second. Ground fault is the name applied to this undesired circuit condition. Arc fault circuit interrupters, referred to as AFCIs, or simply AFIs, protect against electrical fires resulting from unintended arc faults by interrupting power, reducing likelihood of home's electrical system being an ignition source of a fire designed to protect a wide range of hazardous arc faults resulting from damage in branch circuit wiring, as well as extensions to branches such as cords and appliances. Circuit breakers are a device designed to open and close a circuit by non-automatic means and to open the circuit automatically on a predetermined overcurrent without damaging itself when operated according to its rating. Note the differences in these two breakers. The first is a full size and the other is a tandem breaker. Certain slots in electrical panels will accept tandem breakers but not all slots will. Overload, overcurrent, or excessive current is a situation where a larger than intended electrical current exists through a conductor, leading to excessive generation of heat and the risk of fire or damage to equipment. These conditions can be caused by short circuits, excessive loads, or incorrect design. Arc fault circuit interrupter, or simply an AFCI, is a circuit breaker designed to prevent fires by detecting an unintended electrical arc and disconnecting the power before the arc starts a fire. An AFCI must distinguish between a harmless arc that occurs incidental to normal operation of switches, plugs, and brushed motors, and an undesirable arc that can occur, for example, in a lamp cord that has a broken conductor in the cord. Fuses are a low resistance resistor that acts as a sacrificial device to provide overcurrent protection. Unlike a breaker, they must be replaced as they cannot be reset. Despite what you might think, there is an advantage to a fuse. Breakers that have been tripped are often reset without first investigating the cause of the fault and may not have the reserve capacity to open safely after multiple faults. When a fuse, however, opens, it is replaced with a new fuse, so the protection level is not degraded by the previous faults. In screw-in base fuses, it is very easy to see when a fuse has blown. Through the clear window provided on the face of the fuse, you can see the metal alloy ribbon that carries the current. When the amperage is exceeded, this melts and often blackens the window to indicate the fuse has blown and that it needs to be replaced. These fuses are color-coded for easy amperage identification. However, all sizes of this style are interchangeable. S-type fuses are very similar, except that each size tamper-proof fuse will only screw into the proper tamper-proof base. That way, you can't accidentally place the wrong size in the base. Plug adapters allow the newer and safer S-type tamper-proof fuses to be screwed into the standard bases. Simply screw the new S-type fuse into the base and then screw it into the panel. Cartridge fuses are cylindrical in shape and with contact points at each end. 
Ferrell type fuses are rated up to and including 60 amps. Knife blade fuses have blades on each end and protect circuits above 60 amps up to 600 amps. Fuse pullers are available for installing or removing these types of fuses. Non-renewable one-time use fuses are the most common type used. Renewable fuses have replaceable fuse elements allowing the fuse body and terminals to be reused if not damaged after a fuse operation. So which is better, renewable or non-renewable? At first glance you might think it would be the renewable type. However, due to their design along with lack of maintenance, renewable fuses present a higher than normal risk for equipment damage and fires. As replacement becomes necessary, it is recommended that renewable fuses be replaced with non-renewable fuses. There are several different fuse time ratings. Time delay or slow burn is a fuse capable of carrying a specific overcurrent for a minimum time. Slow blow fuses are designed to allow harmless short-term higher current but still open on a sustained overload. Fast acting or very fast acting, also known as quick blow, these are fuses with no intentional time delay designed into the overload range, sometimes referred to as a single element fuse or non-delay fuse. For example, time delay fuse may require twice its rated current for 10 seconds to blow. A standard fuse may require twice its rated current to open in one second. And Fast acting or very fast acting may require twice its rated current to blow in one tenth of a second. There are single and dual element fuses. The dual element fuse provides the same short circuit current protection as the single element fuse along with time delay protection against slow overcurrents. A dual element fuse splits current dividing it between multiple strips of metal which may contain a metal strip that melts instantly on a short circuit and also contains a low melting solder joint that responds to long term overload of low values compared to a short circuit. A fuse block holds more than one fuse while a fuse holder only holds one fuse. Common styles include both modular open face and finger safe. Some fuse blocks and fuse holders have local indication providing immediate notification when a fuse is blown. Sometimes a little education can make one more careless than before as someone feels more comfortable in their knowledge. There is a cardinal firearm safety rule that says, treat every firearm as if it is loaded. That can be applied to working with electricity. Treat all electrical as if it is energized. By making this assumption, you will reduce your chances of an unwelcome surprise. If you make a mistake in plumbing, you might make someone unhappy. Make a mistake in air conditioning and someone might be uncomfortable. But a mistake with electricity and you could injure or kill yourself or others. I realize that probably most of you watching this have already been shocked by electricity and obviously have lived to tell about it. Unfortunately, the more that occurs, the more it tends to lower our defenses. Please never take safety for granted and always treat electricity with the respect it deserves. Your life and the life of others may depend on it.